Good morning, everybody. I'm uh, Sam Aronson, the lab director, and I'd like to welcome you to what I'm certain will be, when we look back on it, a, historical, a historic milestone in Brookhaven's trajectory uh, for the future. This is the start of construction of the National Synchrotron Light Source 2, which, when it's completed, will be the world's brightest light source. We are ever mindful of the high expectations the country has of us as a premier national resource, the responsibility we have to be good stewards of the resources provided to us, and the trust placed in us to carry out this project. Although there's a long way to go, the project is currently within budget and on time. We plan to keep it that way during the journey ahead and to deliver a fully mission-capable facility that makes good on its promise. Successfully advancing a large project like this through all its various stages takes strong partnerships and the combined efforts of a tremendous number of people. Many challenges still lie ahead, but I know that working as a team, we can pull this off and we will pull it off. I would especially like to express my sincerest gratitude to the entire NSLS2 project team for bringing us to this day. You are an incredibly talented group and your hard work and dedication is outstanding. The research programs at NSLS2 will touch almost every area of science and technology that is critical to our economic and energy security, as well as to enhancing our quality of life. In order to enable the required scientific breakthroughs, we have designed an innovative machine that will deliver ultra-high brightness, a building with ultra-high stability, and advanced instrumentation. NSLS2 will provide the most advanced capabilities of any light source worldwide, and it will be a wonderful complement to the Center for Functional Nanomaterials standing next door. This facility is about lots of things, but right now it's about putting people to work. We need to put people to work on this island. <laughs> and in this country, and I am delighted that an average of 120 or 130 people a, work, a week will be working on this project at peak times. 300 people a week will be working on this project. Overall, over 1,000 people. And then once it's opened, we're going to average 2,100 users for this facility. This is what Long Island needs. This is what our nation needs. And we are going to deliver it right here in Brookhaven. And I am delighted about that. Science is the cutting edge to better lives. We've learned that, you know, since all the paradigms changed with people like Galileo and uh, Darwin and Pasteur, Pasteur. And deep, hard to understand science makes every person's life better in ways that we won't, don't even know ahead of time. But the inexorable equation is keep breaking frontiers in science and it will help the average man and average woman. We know that for 400 years of history, since the Renaissance. And um, it's still true today. And so the fact that we are breaking ground, both physically, figuratively, and literally, today, is going to be great for people, our children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, generations untold, in ways we can't even understand or even imagine. Scientists from around the world will converge in New York State to identify solutions and to transfer technology to industry. Through facilities like NSLS2, the Department of Energy's Office of Science is driving the next generation of technological applications for furthering our development, prosperity, and long-term sustainability, while at the same time answering some fundamental questions about the universe around us. We recognize that such discovery that seeks research pushes the frontiers of knowledge, uncovers our origins, and will play a crucial role in addressing the challenges facing our nation and the world. The impact of NSLS2 on American research is incalculable. Its power stems not only from the quality of the technology, but also for the timing of its creation. Now, as never before, there is an accompanying acceleration of research partnerships linking the best of university researchers 
and laboratory excellence in ways that far exceed the past. NSLS II is not only a magnificent addition to the research uh, capabilities of Brookhaven National Lab, it has come at the ideal time to foster interactions between researchers in many institutions to create the great research of the future. The potential represented by this groundbreaking is superb. NSLS II will bring us to a new era of vital research. It is most exciting. Thank you. NSLS II is the most advanced storage ring-based light source in the world, and it is the first synchrotron light source ever to provide these high-resolution capabilities easily and routinely to all of its beamlines and all of the science disciplines. And this is important, so pay attention. Until NSLS II, until Light Source II announced its technical specifications, no other light source in the world had ventured into this territory or even thought to, to venture into the territory. Light Source II is absolutely remarkable because people here at the laboratory and in the Department of Energy recognize that going to very, very high spatial resolution, higher than it had ever been achieved at any light source, was key to studying the world of the ultra-small. Light Source II broke new ground, and it's really important to understand how daring the designers were when they started this project. The more that we invest, the more entrepreneurs that we stimulate, the more uh, innovation that we create, we are creating the opportunity for our future generations and for uh, the benefits of harnessing the ingenuity and the imagination of the American people and our nation's children. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your leadership. It's a great day for Long Island and jobs on Long Island. It's a great day for Brookhaven and it's a great day for science and the world as we advance. Thank you to the whole Brookhaven family from the great nuclear physicists to the guys who keep the place clean late at night, you're the greatest and we admire you. Congratulations to each and every one of you.